Alvin, a driver with four prior DUI convictions under arrest tonight, accused of being under the influence again after hitting and killing a pedestrian. It happened this morning in the city of Orange. The suspect was taken into custody after a short police pursuit, and officials say he showed signs of alcohol intoxication. Omar Lewis is live at the scene of the crash with the latest on the suspect and the man killed in that crash. Omar? Yeah, Micah and Sandra, that deadly hit and run crash happened right here behind us. Orange police say a pedestrian was crossing the middle of Tustin Street here when a wanted man without a driver's license crashed right into him and kept on going. A shoe lying in the middle of the road marks the spot where a pedestrian was brutally killed by a hit and run driver Tuesday morning in Orange. I was scared. I was like, what happened? I thought I thought it was two cars impacting. That's how how bad it sounded. The city of Orange Police Department says around 1118 an officer spotted a body in the middle of North Tustin Street just west of Palm Avenue moments after a crash happened. The suspect ran him over and fled north without stopping and checking on him at all. Investigators set up a perimeter and spoke to witnesses. Within 10 minutes, police say officers located the Silver Scion a little over a mile away from the crash at Catella Avenue and Glissell Street. After leading police on a short chase, the driver, 31-year-old Jonathan Lopez, was arrested. Investigators say he was driving without a license and had a warrant out for his arrest. We know that the suspect has at least four prior convictions for DUI three from Orange County and one from out of state. Police are now working to identify the man who was killed while crossing Tustin Street. Meanwhile, people in this community are just thankful that Jonathan Lopez is behind bars, no longer on their roads. You guys should not be drinking and driving. It's not safe and you're hurting other people. He is definitely a danger on our roadways and we're glad that he's been arrested. And Lopez is now facing a long list of charges that includes vehicular homicide, DUI hit and run, uh, as well as uh, evading also tonight. That's the latest here live from Orange. I'm Omar Lewis. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Omar, thank you.